हरि जी के जादू से निकलना बड़ा मुश्किल है <laughs> मेरे लिए भी तो कहाँ से शुरू करूँ मुझे लगता है ये सही है कि लल दैद को हम हरि जी के तुरंत बाद लाए हैं क्योंकि थोड़ी बहुत टक्कर वो ही ले सकती है उनसे और तो किसी के बस की बात नहीं है मेरी भी नहीं आम, आप में से कितने लोग हिंदी अच्छे से समझ लेते हैं और यू प्रिफर इंग्लिश आई थिंक वी शुड स्पीक देन इन कश्मीरी कश्मीरी लल दैट एज यू नो आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू सीन द फिल्म दर आई मेड आई हैड सेट इट वुड हेल्प इफ यू सॉ बट इट डजेंट रियली मैटर लल दैट सात सौ साल पहले कश्मीर की कवित्री रही है मिस्टिक पोएट फॉर दोज हु डोंट नो अबाउट हर एट द एज ऑफ सेवनटीन उन्होंने अपना घर शादी शुदा घर छोड़ दिया और पूरे वस्त्र उतार दिए क्योंकि उनका मानना था कि जो शरीर है वो पहले से ही आत इट्स ऑलरेडी अ कवरिंग फॉर द सोल सो वॉट डू आई नीड मोर क्लोथ फॉर यू नो एंड इमेजिन इन अ प्लेस लाइक कश्मीर विच इज कोल्ड इवन इन जून एंड वी टॉक अबाउट सेवन हंड्रेड ईयर्स गो नाउ दर्स क्लाइमेटिक चेंज सो क्लाइमेट्स हैव चेंज बट इन दैट फ्रीजिंग कोल्ड इमेजिन अ वूमन स्ट्राइडिंग थ्रू द वैली ऑफ कश्मीर स्टार्क नेकेड विद नॉट अ स्टिच ऑन हर which is the one proof that we have that she was a great yogini she was a tantric yogini uh, now tantra doesn't mean hocus pocus and magic and the kind of stuff it's known for it, it actually means a very vital control of breath it's interesting breath flute breath and breath and if we remove the breath we actually have no life so those who can master the breath for whatever reason um as a musician or as yogis they can actually almost defy death and one of the myths or the stories about her is that she never actually died she just disappeared one day the other one story about her going away at the age of 80 is that she suddenly just sat down quietly and left her body and when they when there was a little bit of a thing between the kashmiri pandits and even 700 years ago there was always elements that wanted to create um a divide so uh, while her body lay there then people were wondering whether they want to cremate her or to um, bury her there was a whoosh of fire and she just disappeared you know so anyway this is a bit of other way but i will start by saying does anybody know the Kashmiri language is an amalgamation of two rivers of language of tradition does anybody know which ones Kashmiri jo bhasha hai wo do mahanadi bhashaon ki mahanadiya ka mishran hai wo kya hai koi bata sakta hai no no i don't mean literally the river i mean two great languages sanskrit and yes sanskrit is right persian Sanskrit and Persian. Urdu is a small uh, rivulet of Persian, as is. So, uh, because we want to focus right now on her poetry, and her poetry will give you a lot. She basically did not write poetry, because we are a, actually a tradition, oral tradition. That is why the Guru Shishya Parampara is there, because you took from the Guru through the hearing, and sound is. is etheric sound is of space so therefore it is considered you know when they say in the beginning there was the word the bible says that we believe the world we know the world has come into being with the first sound occurred and recently american research has also sort of managed to zero in on the hum of the universe and found that it's actually is very similar to om so as i say the om is the first sound so vachik or the idea of vak vak jo laldet ki jo kavita hai wo kavita nahi hai use vak kehte hain vak vak meaning vachik that which is uttered sound ka jo hona aur uska sunna vak so hers are the vak so let's start by first of all understanding my play is in three languages um hindi english and kashmiri I don't explain the Kashmiri language because I felt कि हम लोग American film देखते हैं आधा time वो अंग्रेजी नहीं समझ आती फिर भी film समझ लेते हैं 
तो क्यों हर चीज समझाई जाए उसको सुनना जरूरी है तो कश्मीरी वाक है तो चलो कश्मीरी से शुरुआत करते हैं सो यू विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू रिसाइट द कश्मीरी वाई लल्लाज वाक्स हैड सच अ पावर एंड हाउ यू इफ यू हर्ड दम वंस दे जस्ट आपके जहन में उतर जाते थे दिस एंटर्ड एंड रिमेंड इन यू इज दिस साउंड ऑल राइट और इज दैट टू मच ऑफ अ विंड कैन आई हैव अनदर माइक और कैन यू टर्न इट डाउन सम हाउ इज अ साउंड ऑफ विंड लाइक टका 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 बिकॉज लेटर ऑन आई एम गोइंग टू बीस हेलो माइक पीपल ओके ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद the f- we'll go through the vaks so it's one is can you you'll repeat after me let's speak kashmiri kusmarit kasmaran mari kustmaran kas yus hari hari trevet gari gari kare aj sumrit tamaran tas easy so it's कुस मरी तो कस मारन मरी कुस तमारन कस यूस हरी हरी त्रैव तो गरी गरी करे अज सुमृत तमारन तस यू रिकोगनाइज अ फ्यू वर्ड्स मरी मारन सो इन इंग्लिश इफ आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू इट इज वेरी सिंपल इट सेज कौन मरता है इन इंग्लिश इट इज हु किल्स हु डाइज हु किल्ड यू हाउ डिड यू डाई कुस मरी तो कस मारन मरी कुस तमारन कस हु किल्स हु डाइज हु किल्ड यू हाउ डिड यू डाई यूस हरी हरी त्रैवित अंदर जो आपका हरी है द गॉड विद इन तुमने उसे तो कहा गो वे गो वे गो वे यू सेट टू द सेल्फ गरी गरी करे गरी गरी इज अंड ऑफ ओनोमोटोपिक साउंड इन कश्मीरी विच सेज कम 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 गरी गरी करे वेन यू से टू द वर्ल्ड कम टू मी कम टू मी कम टू मी so you said go 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 to the self you said come 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 to the world ad sumrit tamaran tas you killed the self by half remembering it you died so who kills who dies who killed you how did you die you said go 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 to the self you said come 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 to the world you killed the self you died so kashmiri is actually anybody who's really a kashmiri will know laldet and i was told in my research time which took about 3 years that babansi kaur who was a very uh, famous theater director i would speak to him a lot about his childhood in kashmir and he told me that jab wo when they were kids jab wo chote the aur maar daantti thi to wo lalwaag se daantti thi lalwaag suna ke daant deti thi phir wo rone lage aur माने इतरा या गुस्सा हो जाए बच्चे तो आधे घंटे बाद ललवाक से ही उनको फिर से दुलारती थी सो फॉर मोस्ट कश्मीरीज हु बिलोंग टू अ सर्टन जनरेशन इफ दे आर राइट नाउ इन देर फिफ्टीज दे विल डेफिनेटली नो लल दैट आई थिंक आई कैन से विद अ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ सर्टनिटी दैट पॉसिबली लल दैट इज द ओनली पोएट इन द वर्ल्ड हु इज एब्सोल्युटली close and in the consciousness of the people of the place that she belonged to we are taught kabir in school we are taught meera but how many of us actually quote kabir and meera in our everyday conversation the kashmiris do that so we get back to this uh, the second vak that i say in uh, kashmiri is um, gagan cha butal cha chadnyan pavant rat arag channan posh kun chwi sroya cha la gai kya gagan च यू गगन च बूतल चनियन दनियन इज डे पावन इज विंड रात इज नाइट गगन च बूतल चनियन पावन रात अरग चंदन चंदन पोषपून चुई द वॉटर द फ्लावर्स सुरोय यू आर ऑल दिस यू आर ऑलरेडी ऑल दिस यू आर द डे द नाइट द एयर द विंड द फ्लावर्स the sandal paste the water that i pour as ablu uh, as ablution on you you are all this suroyat se to la gayi kya you are all this so what should i worship you with no. and the third vak that i do as my opening vak sin when i perform the play is uh, lal butsayas bage baras buchum shiva shakti milit va titsye lai karmas amrit saras zinde marast mai kehri kya 
lal butsayas bage baras lalla entered the self and found in that garden within shiva and shakti entwined now remember she's a great yogini so there are a lot of her works actually describe the yogic process that is what she has given through her poetry she has her poetry covers a wide range it covers the personal it covers um the secular um it sometimes very quietly gently criticizes those learned intellectuals or politicians who actually are trying to create a divide on the basis of religion and a lot of it is deeply um connected to the idea of the yogic processes and what is the meaning of breath and a lot of those so so lala entered the garden within and found shiva and shakti entwined inside having experienced that she died and the nectar exploded amrit chadha and having died she is more alive than ever before so these are the three works i start with and then lalder actually talks as a child she already knew about her past lives and she had a guru called siddhmol so you see again the appearance of the guru who had been her um, guru in several lives and she when she starts talking as a child about to the guru about her past lives he realizes that this is no ordinary child this is that same soul reborn and she says at one point so the works that i have in the play at that point of time are pehen utna hi ki thand na chubhe kha utna hi ki bhook na khaye o man khoj apne ko aur param ko bhi jaan le tan tera bhojan hai bas pauvo ka Do, does anybody need an explanation in english got it you need it in english no the other one is mandir mein murat patthar ki mandir bhi patthar ka dher upar se niche tak sab ek pandit tu kya hai pooje isko aur isko mila aur tab tujhe samajh mein aayega wo kya hai so the the temple is a pile of rock the 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 idol is a piece of stone from head to foot it's all one stuff oh pandit what is this you are worshiping give breath to your mind join the heart and the breath and that is when you will know the god within and then the other one is sab jaan kar anjaan ban dekh sab drishya adrishya सब जान कर बन अनजान बन नो एवरीथिंग बट प्रिटेंड इग्नोरेंस सी एवरीथिंग बट प्रिटेंड टू बी ब्लाइंड देख सब दृश्य कर दृश्य आकार में हो निराकार तो वी हैव फॉर्म्स वी हैव अ बॉडी वी हैव अदर सोशल फॉर्म्स यू नो आर फॉर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट सोसाइटी what we believe is our position in सोसाइटी व्हाट आर जॉब गिव्स आस दीज आर अदर द मेनी फॉर्म्स दैट वी इनहेबिट become formless in all of those that's the only way you will reach within so she says see everything be humble enough to say i don't know know everything be humble enough to say i still need to learn more and within this form that you're so proud of become formless and then you will understand who you actually are or what it is that is you will know what the knowledge is so i'm giving you these poems as i have structured them in the play because i have a short time and i want to introduce as much of her poetry to you as i can so her other works are also to do with the idea of authority um so jeet lo sansar ko raj karo na hoga man shant take the kingdom and rule it you will find no peace give it up you will still find no peace but once you have moved away from the idea of powers and everything that is when the world will come to you jeet lo sansar ko raj karo na hoga man shant tyag do sab phir bhi na hoga man shant nirmam sharir ki mrityu nahi the compassionate self that is the only thing that is eternal 
निर्मम शरीर की मृत्यु नहीं जीते जी मर जाना सब कुछ है पाना इफ वाइल यूर अलाइव यू कैन डाई टू योर मटीरियलिज्म टू योर दिस योर दैट दैट इज वेन यू गेन द वर्ल्ड then for her the breath and the idea of how the mind is like a monkey the other one um man mera beh chala koso meel jhapakte palak nirankush ghode jaisa my mind just went like a wild horse within a blink of an eye janu na agar khichna lagam tootega wo khilone jaisa if i do not know how to rein the mind it will destroy me like a child throws a toy and it smashes that is how the mind has to be kept under rein and there a lot of her works are about breath the mind and so much else and then the last one is um i mean the in the first segment that i do that one is um rok do behte jharne ko lap lapati aag thandi kar do Kaath ki gaye duh lo. You know you can milk a wooden cow. A lot of the god men we have and people like that they show these little tricks. A lot of yogis they say they can pull ash out of the air. They can do this. She says all this is just trickery. That's all that is. Rok do behte jharne ko lap lapati aag thandi kar do. Kaath ki gaye duh lo. Hawa me chal pairon ke bal. Antata chalava hi hai. At the end of it, it is all just trickery because the great teachers the great yogis they do not display the powers that they have begun to realize on the path they understand those powers they see them they may test them out but they leave them because the path is still something you have to traverse it's not so easy no so um a little story in between us to how i was researching laldeb i mean i was actually researching the mystic poet women i turned 40 at a particular time in life and i felt i need to figure my life out i need to figure out what am i as a woman kyunki har 5 saal mein ya 10 saal mein hamari shakhsiyat badalti hai jab hum bacche hote hain to hum bahut kuch cheeze hote hain hum maine ek baar ek bacche ko dekha wo kitab padhne ke liye wo normally agar hum adult honge na hum kitab yahan rakhenge aur hum aise baithenge to wo aise pad kitab pad raha tha and i said only children can do these kind of things jab hum bacche hote hain hum dusre bachchon ke prati aakarshit ho jate hain hum poochte nahi ye naam kya hai tum kya karte ho kya nahi zyada tar hum log jab fauj mein the ab humko bada status conscious ho jata hai lekin mostly jab hum bacche the to jo jamadar tha wo hamara uska bachcha hamara best friend tha jo hamara kachra uthane aata tha agar uska bachcha tha to uske sath puri dupahar beet gayi hamari so this kind of thing of status of societal things this comes as we become adults as when we become adults we become very structured we become in fact this person this this self is which is so wide open and so not of any definitions that starts getting definitions and it becomes like this so suddenly but i'm your 17 you say i'm actually a tea person i'm not a coffee person i am a sea person i'm not a mountain person and by the time you're in your 20s 30s the self which you have begun to define with a great iness that this is me so the i becomes very big but actually what you've done is you've reduced we reduce it reduce it reduce it till it becomes like this you know and that is that is what makes lalla somebody so powerful because in all these ages in 700 years people say she's a feminist she's way beyond that she is a tantric shaivite and she is loved by the kashmiris and the muslims i mean the kashmiri pandits and muslims both of kashmir she is the only shared icon and they call her lal maj which means mother ma so for them if uh, you know some years ago i went to kashmir uh, to perform lal dad uh, 2008 and uh, it was in some conference hall so the no theater was there and it was I was dying for a cup of tea because I'd been setting up the whole morning. So the person who was in charge of the uh, in charge of that you know she uh, some Chere Kashmir something uh, conference a big um, auditorium I mean that whole structure 
ये सर आपको चाय चाहिए मेरे पास आ जाइए आप बम्बई से हैं मीता जी ये हो सजना हाँ तो चाय मंगवाई मेरे लिए तो मैं चाय लेने वाली थी तो उन्होंने पूछा अच्छा आप कौन सा नाटक कर रही हैं तो मैंने कहा लल दैद ही लुक टेट मी लाल लल दैद आप लल दैद कर रही हैं आई सर जी वो नहीं सर ही गॉट सो एंग्री इस आप पता लल दैद कौन है मैंने कहा जी रिसर्च किया है आप कहाँ से आ रही हैं पहले बताइए तो मैंने कहा कहाँ से आ रही मैंने आई वॉज वंडरिंग विथ स्पिरिचुअल क्वेश्चन की अंदर से कहाँ से आ रही हूँ या किस शहर से आ रही हूँ शायद मतलब क्या नहीं कहाँ से मतलब मैंने कहा मतलब क्या ही सर कौन से शहर से आ रही हैं आप तो मैंने कहा मैं बम्बई से आ रही हूँ आप बम्बई से आ रही हैं और आप लल दैद करेंगी आपको तो छः महीने जंगल में बैठ के मेडिटेशन करना चाहिए था इससे पहले कि आप लल दैद कर सके तो मैंने कहा जी बम्बई भी कॉन्क्रीट जंगल है <laughs> वहाँ पे मैंने मुझे और ज़्यादा मेडिटेशन करने की ज़रूरत पड़ती है क्योंकि वहाँ नहीं तो आप बिखर जाते तो मैंने उसको समझाया कि तीन साल रिसर्च किया कश्मीरी सारी मिस्टिक पोइट्स को लेके ये वो और ही वॉज इंटरेस्टेड ही लॉस्ट ही वॉज डिस्गस्टेड हॉरीफाइड एंड कम्प्लीटली एंग्री विद मी ही वेंट बैक टू हिज थिंग्स ऑफिशियल थिंग्स एंड आई हैव टू फिनिश माई टीन साइलेंस एंड लीव एन आई टोल एम प्लीज़ आके कल देख लीजिएगा तो ही नेवर केम But when I was dis- researching this thing, and I realized every ten years we as human beings change. So what we were at the age of five to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to thirty, it's a different person. And I suddenly wanted to engage and find out. So I have read a lot of feminist literature. Because you have to read feminist literature. But I thought that I would not be able to live with her. because there is there is anger there there is something to resist there is anger there is uh, uh, having to talk about oppression all the time probably justifiably so i know so as a woman i'm already feeling oppressed for various reasons bad marriage many things um my own fault maybe now i realize but yes because when you become aware you realize you're responsible for your own life entirely you will not blame somebody else ever so I said, you know, there has to be some literature about women which is away from anger, which is not into labels. Because when you do a play, you live with the material for a long time. You live for sometimes six months, a year, if you have to. So you have to see something that will enter your soul and start expanding your soul. And that's how I came on to studying the women poets in bhakti, in liter, in um, you know, poetry, in mysticism, and all that. तो मैंने कुछ 10-15 उठाए उनको एक साल पढ़ा फिर डेढ़ साल बाद मेरे पास चार रह गई उनमें थी अक्का महादेवी अंडाल मीरा और लल और ऐसा कोई था नहीं पर वो अचानक दो उनमें से शैवाइट थी अक्का महादेवी और दो उनमें से वैष्णवाइट सो विच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नाउ विद अक्का महादेवी वो शिव भगवान के बारे में शी एड्रेस चेन्ना मलिका अर्जुन लॉर्ड व्हाइट इज जैसमिन एंड आई वॉज पुट ऑल दीज फॉर पोइट्स टूगेदर पोइट्स इज टूगेदर इन वन प्ले आई थॉट आई डू वन प्ले एंड एज आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद आई रियलाइज की दीज आर फोर डिफरेंट जोग्रफीज ऑलमोस्ट सो वाइल अक्का विल टॉक अबाउट शिवा एज चेन्ना मलिका अर्जुन द लॉर्ड व्हाइट इज जैसमिन हर रेफरेंस इज अबाउट द क्रीपर because karnataka has these beautiful forests and there's jasmine now laldad will talk at a completely different geography because kashmir high mountains clear air she's also a tantric shaivite to unki bhasha hi kuch alag hai unke references hi alag hai and likewise it was with meera i slowly started somehow veering towards laldad because in some strange way i realized she was undefinable For a long time, if you read most of her poetry, you will not find any reference to the body. You, you know, it's there's a feminine energy that's written by a woman, but there's no clue as why is it written by a woman. And I loved her relationship with Shiva. She says, "Shiva of the dark blue throat, you have your six powers, and I have my six. तुम्हारी छः इंद्रियाँ और मेरी भी छः हैं. And yet, estranged, I have fallen into grief." मैं थोड़ा सा बरगला गई हूँ एंड यू नो शी एंड शी फाइंड द रीजन शी सज वाई एंड येट इज स्ट्रेंज आई फॉलो इन टू ग्रीफ फॉर दो बिटवीन यू एंड मी दर इज नो डिफरेंस येट देर इज वन यू आर द लॉर्ड ऑफ द सिक्स एंड आई बाय द सिक्स एम लेड अस्ट्रे 
So you have mastered your six senses. I have still to master them. Otherwise, I would be Shiva as well. So um, I came. So I got onto Lalit, and then I was, uh, you know, at I was searching the structure of the play because when you're dealing with, and I had read everything about Lalit. I read her translations by um, Mr. Ramanujan, um, you know, the great poet and scholar. I had read the British ones, so I had read them in Hindi, English. Unki jitni tippaniya unke baare mein logon ne karni thi critiques. I had read all of that by the Kashmiris and all. And it was one night. It was a very strange night. It sounds totally surreal, but I was in Adi Shakti, in Pondicherry, um, Auroville, at Veena Pani Chawla's um, place, and it was a rainy night. And Veena, for some reason, I was there. It was there was no workshop. We were meeting after a long time, so I was there. और मुझे रात हो गई थी तो गेस्ट हाउस उनका बड़ा सुंदर कैंपस है गेस्ट हाउस थोड़ी दूर है और बहुत सारे पेड़ हैं और बहुत बारिश हो रही थी तो वीना ने मुझे कहा अच्छा वापस जाते हुए जरा ध्यान से जाना अक्सर पेड़ों यू नो समाइम्स द स्नेक्स ड्रॉप फ्रॉम द ट्रीज एंड वीना सर इज वेरी स्वीटली एंड वॉज लाइक इज शी जस्ट स्पूकिंग मी आउट ए मैंने उन्होंने कहा सांप गिरते हैं कभी कभी पेड़ों से बारिश हो रही है तो मैंने मैनेजर से कहा प्लीज मेरे साथ चलिए वहां तक So it was a rainy night. I was in this beautiful guest house in a room, and there was no. There were 16 rooms. There's nobody else there. There was no light on the campus, but there was some faint light outside, and it was raining. From which I could sort of see. धीरे जब अंधेरे में आपकी आँखों को एक आदत पड़ जाती है अंधेरे की, तो आप आकार देख सकते हैं कमरे का. You can see the form of the room. At three in the morning, I was suddenly woken up, and I saw a person standing next to my bed. and i could see the room through him now it sounds weird but you know you get these night spooks sometimes so it was so strange and i and he was standing in a mundveshti so he was a mallu guy and uh, slender very muscular and with a mundveshti and he was standing and he's slightly drunk and he's leering and i'm like saying oh my god have i been celibate that long am i seeing these things now <laughs> apparitions of somebody coming and saying ki mujhe aapke sath sambhog kya ho kya raha hai But I, but I could see the room through. I could see the bathroom door. Which is, or he par, ar par, dikh raha ye insan khada hai. I thought maybe it's a ghost or I don't know what. So I freaked out. So I closed my eyes and I chanted as hard as I could, whatever you know, Hanuman Chalisa or something I could. And then after some time, I opened my eyes and it was gone. And the next day, I told Vina. I said, Vina, I think there's a spook in your guest house. She said, Miss, really? What did you see? I said, so I described the person to her. She said, Oh, that must be Hari. He's a Kudiyattam player. He drinks a lot. He had stayed in this room for three months, and he left just one day before. So we gave you that room because it was the only one that was being used. Now I had actually strangely seen Hari's energy possibly coagulating. I don't know what, but I was so spooked that night that I couldn't go back to sleep. Now I had Lalit on my table. अब मैंने उसको किताब को खोला और मैंने सब कुछ पढ़ लिया तो क्या पढ़ूँ? The only thing I had not done was read her in Kashmiri, and the first work I started now Kashmiri. उन्होंने हिंदी में लिखी थी, so I started reading. कुसमरी तो कुसमारन मरी कुसो, and I read it for one hour, and then that's when I realized there's a rhythm. There's a rhythm to the writing that only when you read a poet. in her own language you get that and that's when i realized ki lalit ka oral tradition unke vaak kyun kaan mein utarte hi logon ke andar sama jate the wo aise chalti rahi hongi yun nagna aur mujhe aisa ehsaas hua ki wo kisi se baat chit nahi karte hongi kaise ho kya hai wo koi bolta hoga ki are maine ye naukri achhi li par you know it's like maine us ladki se shaadi karni thi lekin uska baap ameer tha to maine us wali se kar li shaadi aur wo bekar log hain ye hai to lalit kya bolengi kusmari ta kasmaran mare kus tamaran kas and she walk off you chose you said self ko jao so i imagine this woman would possibly speak in wax and there's a there's an economy to the verse There is no flourish. So it's kusmari to kusmaran, mari kus tamaran kasius hari hari trayabat gari 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 ad sumrit tamaran tas. There's another walk which is there, which is um, uh, when the sun was gone, the moon came with that round face of his. When the moon was gone, the mind remained. When the mind was gone, where did they all go? All things born of sight, earth, ether, sky. 
So when, I'm, when we were sitting on translation, initially I didn't have the confidence to translate, but now that I've read the Vak in Kashmiri, I realize there's a rhythm which is inside the lines. It's not at the end or the beginning like poetry has, you know. They rhyme the end words sometimes. There's a strange rhythm which is almost diagonally in the lines. And then I also realized there's a real great economy of words. So I gave it to a Hindi poet to say, Ki, can you translate when the sun was gone, the moon came? It's a translation by Mr. Ramanujan. So he started saying, Suraj uga, chand du, Suraj duba, or chand uga. I said, no, 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 I said, wo, usme ek visual poetry, the poetry is very visual, but it's also like this. So then finally what I got was, Suraj gaya, chand aya. Chehra gol. Chand gaya, chit raha. Jab chit na raha, to raha kya? Aankhon se tab huye ojhal sab. So this is the structure of Lala's poetry and that's what I realized a lot of her Kashmiri poetry needs to be there in the Kashmiri language itself because Kashmiri should now enter the hearing Vaak hai, Vaak ko andar jana hai, jo bhi sunne uske zehen mein bale usse bhaasha samaj mein aay na aay. So um, there is so much about Lala that, that I think what I'll do is, how much time do I have? 10 minutes? Any? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you through a little bit of the experience of the play, uh, just through her works entirely. So what I'd like you to do is, um, I will sing, yeah, there's a little bit more. I will sing one of her works. Uh, when she left home, um, it was after meditation karne, so she would fill the water and you know she would fill the water and she would drain it and she would fill it and she would just drain and she would do that for hours in the river. So the mother-in-law thought ki ye to, pata nahi, kya karne jari, kis se milti hai. So she sent the husband ki tum jao, dekho. Um, Lalit was married at the age of 12 to another boy who was also 12 years old. There was a historical reason for that. And that was because at that time the Afghan invasions were happening in Kashmir. And they had a belief that if you took a virgin woman um, and married her, you are freed from a lot of diseases. So in order to protect the Kashmiri Pandit girls from the invaders, the two things that happened in Kashmir were the, chill, the girls were married off early. But it didn't mean that the marriage was obviously consummated. It meant that the ki shadi kar di, to ye ab shadi shuda hai, to ye technically isko ab aap, you know, single lady nahi maan sakte. So, Lalla ka naam Laldet se, um, Lalla se, ho, la, la, Lalita se hoke, Padmavati ho gaya uske sasuran mein. The other thing was, jo Kashmiri gharon ke darwaze the, wo niche ho gaya. Kyun? Kyunki jo pathaan hoote hai, wo bhaat proud hoote hai. Wo aise nahi ghusenge gharon mein. Kisi ke gharon mein. So their architecture changed and so did the marriage thing. So it wasn't because of some good custom that children were married younger. And interestingly, in my research, I found that Kashmiri Pandits, they are Hindus, but Kashmir does not have a caste system. They do not have the four castes that we have. For them, it is like, you're a Hindu, you are straight from the divine light. And that's it. And it's the same, so the, the Kashmiri Pandits and the Hind Muslims, they believe in this one divinity. And Kashmiri is the, the, the thing about Kashmiri, what I discovered was that A, children, children were first never married till the age of 25. brahmacharya kaha jata hai period. Usme sirf education pe dhyan diya jata tha. So the girls also and the boys also under the guru learnt about educated till the age of 25. It's only after 25 that they were married. But that was before the invasions happened. So at the time of Laldet, the invasions have begun. Uh, Kashmir has, uh, a la, uh, this, um, uh, has a Muslim king, but very benign. The Shivratri ka festival hota tha, wo Palace King So it was a very different kind of uh, space. And Buddhism had already been there for 400 years when Lalla came in. And, um, uh, and it was a Vedic civilization in any case. So 
So one of Lal's works is Shiv Chho Thale Thale Rozan Mozan Hunt Musalman. Rukai Chuk Pan Prasna Swach Sahib Zani Zan. Shiv Chho Thale Thale Rozan. Shiv is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And in the documentary I made, there's a Nanwai who's outside the Darga and he says, Oh, he's, he's a Muslim and he's telling me, Shiv ka matlab pata kya hai? Shiv ka, Shiv chue thali thali radhan, matlab, Shiv sab jaga hai, aur Allah sab dekh raha hai. Aur uske darbar mein koi tum mein nahi hai. So, and they all know the works of Lalla in Kashmir even today. So imagine what a loss of tradition this political situation has done, what a loss of civilization. So Shiv Chhoi Thali Thali Rozan, Mozan, Hunt, Musalman, don't say Hindu, don't say Muslim. Why are you dividing? Rukai Chuk, Shiv Chhoi Thali Mozan, Hunt, Musalman, Rukai Chuk, Paan Prasna, Swach Sahib, Zani Zan. If you think you're such a Sahib and such a learned, go inside. Don't try and make divisions outside. Find within. So there's always this idea of the God is within. If you haven't found him, there is nothing outside that you are trying to, you know, get. And aksar the biggest, hardest journeys yahan se yahan wali. Mane hum log Iceland chale jate hain, 70th birthday manane wagara. You know, but yahan se yahan, jo yahan se yahan tak jana wala journey hai na, wo nahi ho paata hai. Ek lifetime mein. And Lalla says that, she says um, in the play, uh, I'm saying, I'm quoting from the play because it's more coincide. coincide. So she says, ab mein Lalla, ye mera satwa janm hai, kai naam hai mere, koi mujhe laldat kahe, कोई ललेश्वरी पुकारे और लल मर्ज भी मेरा ही नाम है इस नाम से पुकारू मैं मुझको एंड देन आई गो लाइक ओ This is not about this birth or that, it's about the eternity of your being. Mere jaise kai jeevan aate hain aur chale jaate hain, phir bhi kuch nahi badalta. Paida ho kar bas mar gaye, to ye jeevan bhi vyarth ho jayega. Jo kuch karna paana hai, wo isi jeevan mein naye janm ka ab samay kaha. So, Lala also has a great sense of humor, like Hariji. Lala's works are some very interesting ones. She also has works which address the common people. Now, her Kashmiri, while she knew Sanskrit and she was highly educated, erudite and everything, she had brought Kashmiri into her works. I mean, she spoke in Kashmiri to make it accessible to everyone. So, one of her works is, uh, which I'll tell you in Hindi, is ki, बेवकूफ को ज्ञान देना, बेवकूफ को ज्ञान मत दो। Don't waste your time trying to educate a complete idiot। बेवकूफ को ज्ञान देना हाथी को खुर करने के बराबर है। It's equivalent to scratching an elephant if you try and give too much ज्ञान to an idiot, you know? So don't waste your time with those who will not understand. Leave it. So anyway, what I'll do is I'll take you a quick journey through her wax. Um, so yes, so I was saying she filled the water. So the husband waits for her to come back. He's looking for a lover, doesn't find one. Thinks ki wo marghat pe ja ke maas khati hai because she is, you know, they suspect that she's, a, she's doing a lot of yoga, so there must be something. So when she comes back with a pot of water, he's hiding behind the door and he smashes the pot of water with a stick. The story goes that the pot of water broke but the water remained. And so she took the water and she filled all the utensils in the house with it. And whatever water was left, she threw it out. And it spread and it became a lake. So her in-laws don't have to go or send anybody to get water. And that is when she leaves everything and she, she sees this as a sign of leaving and now going into the what she's meant for. She knew she had to be married. She knew um, this is going to be a difficult marriage. 
a very famous saying in Kashmiri is um, that hers is that ki, they say, Arey Lalla, aaj tumhare yaan bheer kat rahi hai, because pundits also eat meat there, because of the climate. So she says, bheer kat ya bakra lalla ke bhaag mein to patthar hai. Because when she was a kid, her mother-in-law used to put, wo silbatta hota na uska wo, the grinding stone, she would put that in her thali and cover it with a lot of rice. A little bit of rice to make it look like a mound of rice because she felt she needs to control the energy of this child to feed her less. So, bahar se ninda na ho, to thoda sa wo chawal upar se dhag deti thi. So, there was only three, four handfuls of rice. Dekhne wale ko lagta tha ki bahut chawal hai. But tha itna sa hi. So, lalla kya karti thi? She would pick up over the years, she would eat that rice, silbatte ko utha ke dho dha ke bade shraddha se wapas kitchen mein rakh diya. So one of her works is, get up woman and make your offering, the meat and the wine in your hand. If you know the syllable, that is itself the supreme place. It matters little what rule you break, what's there to lose. So what I'll do now is, so when the song that I have, one of her works, when she, the pot breaks, she's at the doors, and it was composed by Anjana, Apuri, who lives in Delhi, beautiful. So it's like, this is the tune she had made for it. Kojan nikli Sudhana rahi kab ye din bhi तब ये रात ढली मिले अंत में घट में ही मेरे कंठ चली Now, this is a composition, but in the theater, when you are trying to create through the music, the words, also a sense of architectural space. So, in the theater, how I sing it now is Ujjan. And remember, we're in the mountains, it's a mountain terrain. And the one thing I wanted to add here was that the reason I couldn't put all the four poetesses together is because I realized each poet represented almost the geography, geography of where her body wo had grown up. We find the geographies of places in the words of our poets. We actually find architecture in the poets' words, the choice of phrases they have. So here it is like, nikli. <laughs> सुधन रही कब ये दिन बीता तब ये रात ढली मिले अंत में घट में ही तो डू यू सी दिस because in the mountains, when you see things, you know, sometimes you see a bird flying, suddenly it's there. Or you see people walking in the mountains, you'll see them there, then suddenly they disappear from you, then they come there. For those who have ever been to the mountains, because you have to say something So, to the way one says it, one tries also to create the whole geography of it. Now I'd like you to all close your eyes because we are in the place of poetry, poetry is sound, the vak. So I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine that when she leaves her home, she takes off all her clothes and she goes into the wilderness. And I will recite a whole set of vaks for you. Um, at some point of time, she goes into deep meditation, deep austerities of yoga and everything. and. Uh, it's obviously tough on the body. 
And uh, there must have been times when she probably collapsed. And when she comes to, to all the austerities after weeks, months, maybe years, possibly, she wakens with the realization. And I'll take you through all those vaks. So I'd like you to close your eyes, because I can't perform you the play. So I think it'll be nice if you can hear them and see them inside yourself. So imagine this forest. She's there. It's a deep forest. And um, she has performed austerities and finally come out of them. And then the wax begins. It's like the first wax is, by mastering the vital breaths, I cut through the six forests till the moon woke up in me, digit by digit, and the world dried up in me. With love's fire, I parched my heart as one parches gold. And in that moment reached, <gasps> Chalan chui was melta thlata, chalan chui mandi nyan gatkar, chalan chui panan paan kadam grata hat mali santush vaiti paana. Shiva, Keshava jina, ya wo jo kamal janma, naam uska ho jo bhi, kare wo bas itna, muk. करे मुझे इस रोग शरी संसार से नाम उसका हो जो भी सुवा 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 पढ़ती खोजती मैं उसको अनगिनत प्रयासों से बंद दरवाजे के ताले तक तब मैं थी मेरा प्रेम था फिर देखा उसको ओ शिवा ऑफ द डार्क ब्लू थ्रोट you have your six powers and I have my six. And yet estranged I have fallen into grief. For though between you and me there is no difference, yet there is one. You are the lord of the six and I by the six am led astray. Is ant me na wo raha na mein rahi man hua be man Agyani andha jane kya nirmal man hi jane param ko. And then she collapses. Then. Ah, I didn't put my hope in it even for a moment. I didn't trust it even by a hair. Still I, Lalla, drank the wine of my own sayings. Yet I seized that inner dark, brought it down, 
tore it and cut it to pieces. I burned my filth in myself. I slew my heart. And then Lalla, my name, spread abroad, even as I sat just there with bended knees. Lalla, but I was bagi baras, but chum shiva shakti meelit wa. Titsi lai karmas amrit saras zinde marasta me keri kya. Moi, là, là, je suis entré dans la jardin de mon esprit. Je veux unir Shiva et Shakti. Je me suis émergé dans la bonne et moi, je suis plus vivante que pour donc me faire le monde. Mene, Uri Ghati ko, Harmuk se kosar nag tak, ek bishal jil ke roop me dekha hai. जिस दिन कश्मीर की घाटी को हानि पहुंचेगी, उस दिन ये झील सूख जाएंगी। And open your eyes now. So these are the walks I've placed in the fourth uh, thing of the play where she's in the wandering and at the end of it when she comes to realization, she also sees that Kashmir is going to have a time when the lakes will begin to dry because at that is a time when Kashmiriyat will have come under a lot of duress and it will be disappearing possibly, which we can see is happening now. You know, the Kashmiriyat, the aspect of many religions, coexisting, um, but culturally the same, which is how Kashmir is, which is what the meaning of Kashmiriyat is, that you can have any kind of, any amount of faiths, but culturally they were connected. Like Henje is one of the wedding songs which both the Pandits and the Muslims sing, and they all sing Laldet. So after this, Lalla comes into, back into the people, and I will sing you one more of her works. Um, then she says, uh, Guru Siddhamol ne kaha, apne ko, you know, go inside. Guru Siddhamol ne kaha, you know, the God is within, but even for that you need a discipline. You need to have a discipline to follow the path. And after I renounced everything, jab sab chhod, jab mein bhatakne lagi, tab maine param aur apne beech ke antar ko jana. And that's when she's sort of known as the mad mystic, mad because she's not mad, she's so wise that everyone else is, you know, not able to have a conversation at some level. So it's like, the another one of her beautiful things is, which is in a lot of poets is the idea of the, the cloth, the weave. Uh, Kabir has sung of it as well. Now Lella says, I bloomed like a cotton flower, full of faith and joy. And then I was threshed and I was made into yarn and I was made into cloth, I was beaten and scrubbed and finally the tailor came and cut me up and that is when I became, I know, knew him. So, I was born से भरी तभी आए बेल ने पर रगड़ ने धुनकने वाले पिंजारे धुनका मुझे पीटा मुझे फिर एक स्त्री ने चरखे पर काता मुझे महीन सूत मैं बनी अनन्य जवाब आध्यात्म समान ज्योति नहीं, परम समान तीर्थ नहीं, परम समान मित्र नहीं। There is no light like the light of knowledge. There is no sacred action, you know, other than your duty. And there is no friend other than the Almighty, the God. कर्म कांड से कोई कहीं नहीं पहुंचा। All this ritualistic do da that we focus on. It doesn't take you anywhere. Besahara tang di gayi, 
जुलाहे के करघे पर प्रहार किए जुलाहे ने अपनी बुहारी से मुझ पर मैं कपड़े में बदल Then the washerman dashed me on the washing stone and scrubbed me hard with fuller's earth. फिर दर्जी आया, दर्जी आया, कैंची उसने चलाई मुझ पर और बहुत एतियात से किए टुकड़े मेरे, किए टुकड़े मेरे इस तरह हुआ सब कुछ इस तरह पहुंची लल्ले श्वरी पहुंची उसके करीब परम एक है और वो सब में है उसे पाना है रास्ता कठिन है साधना से ही उसे पा सकते हैं and one of our most famous works which I'll just leave you with finally because we know is um, time over? Okay, fine, we're done. Um, so the last one is with a rope of untwisted thread I tow a boat on the ocean. Where will my God hear me? Will he bear me across? Like water in goblets of unbaked clay I waste away. My life is dizzy, I'm all in a whirl. I want to be home. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't leave time for questions.